Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So I suppose since spring is in the air, I have had a couple requests to do a tulip tutorial. Tulips are fairly easy to paint, and I'm going to show you two different ways to paint them, which will get you slightly different results. As always, all of the supplies that I use are listed in the description box below. To begin the first tulip, I'm just going to create one single tulip and I'm working based off of a sketch that I've lightly penciled in. I just wanted to do it this way first so that you guys can get a feel for the shapes of the petals and where the darks and lights go. So starting with the center petal is going to be the easiest. It's going to be the one that's closest to you, probably the one that's more in full view and it's kind of a teardrop shape, so I've just painted that. I'm using Potter's Pink and a little bit of Permanent Rose. And you can see that I've just left a little bit of white space there to act as a highlight. So I'm using the Potter's Pink for the main mid-tone of the flower, and then I'm using a bit of Potter's Pink mixed with Permanent Rose to make a darker shade that's going to kind of go along the edges and I'm just dabbing that in when the paint is still wet so you're gonna get those nice um, gradient effects. I've also dropped in a little bit of yellow just to add a bit of contrast to the very center flower. And I'm making sure to use the very tip of my brush to leave in some of those white space areas as well to keep in line with the highlights. I have also left tiny amounts of white space between each petal. That's just so that my colors don't run together and I will be doing that same thing in the next exercise. So that's just something to keep in mind. So basically for this flower, you're gonna have your main petal in the front sort of teardrop shaped and then the other petals sort of emerging from behind it. And for the leaves, I'm using different mixes of green and I'm making sure to use the tip of my brush to start and I'm just dragging that down and slightly pushing down on the belly of my brush to make thicker areas. I'm going back in again here with a bit of a darker shade just to add a little bit of a shadow detail where those petals meet. So that is the first flower. Now I'm going to show you how to do this without using a sketch and it's actually really easy. Okay, so I'm going to use yellow and red tones for this piece because I wanted that kind of orangey, yellowish, reddish toned flower because there are multi-toned tulips as well and I just wanted to represent that here. So starting out, I've just created a teardrop shape as I previously did and I'm keeping my paint quite wet. Um, I don't want it too wet. I did actually sop up a little bit with a dry brush because I didn't want many of those blooming effects happening. So I've painted the main petal with the yellow and then I've taken the red and I've just dropped that into the bottom areas here and then just added that along the edge of the second petal that I've added. So this is a closed tulip. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a open, semi-open tulip shortly. So for this one, I've created sort of a diamond shape, a wonky sideways diamond shape. And I'm just going to open up those petals a little bit. And I'm still using the yellow to begin and then adding in the red details afterwards. And I'm also making sure to keep the white space in between those petals, again, just so that I don't mix the petal paint together, make a big blobby mess. So with those two main petals in place, I've just sort of added these petals behind those two, basically just to fill in that space, but trying to keep the same curves of the tulip at the same time. For the third tulip here, I'm going to make it a little bit more open. So I'm creating sort of a more classic petal shape and then I'm striping on some of that red shade as well just to give some of that stripey detail that tulips tend to have sometimes. And for the second petal, I'm slightly wrapping it around the first petal, again leaving that white space in between. And then with the yellow, I'm just going to fill in that back area to make it appear as if there's a petal behind there as well. 
and I'm just adding more red to darken certain areas. And I wanted the inside of this tulip to stand out a little more, so I'm darkening it again with some red. Now for the stems, I've taken a mix of greens and browns and yellows and just keeping it really random. I've just created some stems coming out from each of the flowers. I'm trying to keep these really loose and sort of watercolor vibey, if that makes sense. And again, I'm using the tip of my brush for the very top and then pushing down on the belly of the brush to kind of create those more thicker, jagged looking leaf bits. And leaving a little bit of white space in here as well is going to kind of create that highlight effect. Using a darker, more opaque shade of the green, I'm just going to lightly add in some final finishing details. I thought about adding more leaves, but I didn't want to go too overboard. I thought the balance of three tulips and three leaves looked all right, so I'm happy with how that turned out. Now I'm just taking a tiny bit of lamp black and adding some of those little um, center bits to the tulips. So that's how it looks and these are my finished tulips. I hope that you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and I hope to see you in the next video. The winners of the latest book giveaway will be listed in the description box below.